Today we're gonna make bourbon Bloody Marys. Now you might typically more often find vodka and Bloody Marys, but in Louisville, in this part of the country, you're gonna see bourbon Bloody Marys on a lot of brunch menus. So I'm gonna make my base today with tomato juice and then bourbon barrel smoked pepper, paprika, barrel aged Worcestershire, some Tabasco, celery salt, lemon juice, and then we're just gonna top it off with our garnishes. So we're just gonna start with a tall glass filled with ice, and then I'm gonna do about two ounces of bourbon. I'm using Buffalo Trace, made right down the street in Frankfurt, a little bit more. And then I'm gonna add our spices. We're using barrel smoked pepper, black pepper, a little bit of bourbon barrel smoked paprika. I'm gonna use barrel aged Worcestershire. And I like a pretty good amount in there. I've also got Tabasco to make it a little spicy. And then celery salt. Just about a couple of dashes of that. And then we're gonna use the juice from quarter of a lemon. Okay. And then we just top that off with tomato juice. And give it a good stir. So now all that's left is our garnishes. And I've got today some pickled okra, since we're making a very Kentucky version of a Bloody Mary. Cherry tomatoes, they look delicious at the store. And then I've got a little, um, cheese curd here and finally just a little bit of the country ham that I stole from Stacy earlier and then just make that look nice there and we've got a beautiful Kentucky Bloody Mary.